And good evening to you from this beautifully appointed stadium, the home of Arsenal here in North London. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Arsenal versus Manchester United. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Champions League semi-final first leg and so the starting 11 for Arsenal Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper Thomas Parze starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield and the starting role and attack is handed to Alex Lacazette element of risk there but he's won the ball Bruno Fernandes and he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea starts in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. They could nudge in front. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. So the corner played into the box just over the crossbar with that effort well he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent so what should we expect to see from him in this game Stuart well he's very much a confidence player and at the moment his confidence must be high three goals in the last three games and I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today tremendous intuition to win it back Cristiano Ronaldo Greenwood now can they make something happen Ronaldo threading it through. Alex Tellez. McTominay. Has to go! Failure to keep the ball by United. Now can they counter clinically? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. It's with Alex Tellez. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And space here on the flank. And a bad pass it was. Fred. Here's Ronaldo. 
Can they create something from here? Bruno Fernandes. Fred. A disappointing end to the move. Lacazette. And super tackle and they've won possession. Getting in there to take it away. He's protecting it effectively. And the keeper in position to grab hold of it. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Now well, racing past his man. Could cross it in here. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. on the scent of something positive Diogo Dallo Ronaldo happy to take on the shot well fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper Can they pick out? Cutting the ball back. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Given away by Manchester United. Now what can they do from here? Partey. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. So back underway. They've leveled it at 1-1 here. Advantage, Arsenal. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Lacazette here. Oh, in with a chance. And turned onto the woodwork. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop play. It's what he's going to do so the player can receive attention. Substitution for Manchester United, coming off the pitch, number 18, Bruno Fernandes, to be replaced by number 31, Nemanja Matic. So following the stoppage, back underway for the drop ball.
So half an hour remaining. Cristiano Ronaldo. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Long way out this. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. He's driven in the corner. Well, he'd love to have that delivery back. Holding it up, waiting for support to arrive. Lacazette. Nicolas Pepe. It's with Erdogan. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Can he put it in? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Now sending it in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. And the no-nonsense clearance. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Mason Greenwood. Oh, that's a fine pass. Rashford in the middle. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Well, he needed to read it to get there, and did. Breaking at pace. Well, they've lost the ball. Got McTominay. Matic on the ball. Still level here, but Manchester United making a push near the end. Just the clearance that was needed. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Well, that didn't go exactly to plan, and no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates. Yeah, that's a complete waste. He was never going to score from there. Granite Jacka. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is.
So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. The final whistle, the first leg is over, and Arsenal currently in control of the tie. They carry a lead into the second match. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. And a top-level contribution from Nicolas Pepe. We do say that quite a lot, in fairness. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And, of course, what a time to come up with a goal. Could cross it in here. Oh, and he didn't miss by 